welcome to our channel. We're the Grace Knit Stitchers. I'm Corinne. I'm Colleen. And we're coming today with our September, October, no, mostly October update. Yep. You would think that the both of us working at home full time, we should have more time to film. <laughs> <laughs> we are constantly working because we're always finding something else to do. Right. Today was supposed to be a day of slowness and catching up yeah we're just jumping right in here aren't we but um we haven't really cleaned up anything yet right we're kind of following our following up from our mistakes from the other days right so we're gonna start right off with you all being absolutely amazing and terrific four thousand four hundred dollars was donated on monday to samaritan's purse so we donated half of 50% of all of our sales. And then some, a few people gave us a little bit above and beyond and that all added in to $4,400. Mm -hmm. We were blown out of the water. That's all I'm going to say. Um, I wish I could have seen somebody's face at Samaritan's Purse. Of course, they don't know where that came from or how it came in. They don't know that it was, you know, 300 people. Well, two, well, it's 250 some fabrics, but people order multi, Cool. So maybe 200 people yeah. worth of stuff, um, but still amazing, amazing, amazing. So <laughs> I'm going to insert pictures here, which means I have to actually take the pictures, which I was going to do ahead of time. I forgot the stack of higher crown fabric that we have to dye is at least my thigh when I'm standing up. Yeah, I think it's two laundry baskets, like the baskets in, I think it's like double its size. <laughs> Yeah, it, yeah, it's way overflowing the basket. And then there's two more pieces that have to be pre-washed. Um, so we've been cutting and surging for the past three, four days. And sorry, you're going to hear Twyla snoring. She's behind the camera. <laughs> she's behind the camera, yeah. Um, so, sorry, she's distracted me. So we've been cutting and surging. And I don't know if it's like Google doesn't save everything or if when I go from my phone to my computer like sometimes the numbers change um or don't get changed i have no idea what it is but my spreadsheet was off so you know we know that we've made mistakes with fabric of the month being off um so but that's okay we just we always have enough dye so we can always dye more and that way we always have we always dye extra pieces just so that if we like run out of 36 linen we're like we take them the extra stash you know yeah. like so that's not really a problem however this <laughs> we have to dye one piece at a time yep one piece per bin so yeah i wasn't really thinking <laughs> when i came up with like the way to dye it yeah. um i wasn't think about multiple quantities um uh, so it's going to take us some time. So please bear with us. We are going to start dyeing that not this coming week, but the following week. Um, cause this week I'll have your picture of that. Also, you'll see all the colors. We have 29 colors that we have to dye this coming week, um, uh, before we even can start higher ground. Cause Quite these are all orders. We owe people quite a few shop orders and some shop <laughs> orders. It doesn't complete everybody's orders, but it's colors that are been on the list. Um, anyway, um, we're going to do higher ground in increments. So we'll start getting them out in two weeks and then, you know, just kind of following through there. Hi, baby. Um, but anyway, so we got a lot of fabric. Oh, so what we were saying is today I went through all of the orders. I was able to just, uh, sort them on Shopify and I read them out loud and she tallied them. <laughs> so we found some like three of this and three of that and two of this that we didn't have enough fabric for and even some that sorry I'm gonna pick up the dog um and some that we had too many of and you might go why do you care if you have too many well because it was a charity and the exclusive fabric that hopefully we will never have to die again be meaning the reason behind it <laughs> right um we didn't want to have extras um, so then, um, because since it's being dyed one at a time anyway, if we are short, we can just dye that one. Anyway, that being said, today we were cutting and searching all those missing pieces. Yep. 
Plus, mom miscounted a few things last night before I left. Ah. And you, when I came home, you said, did you see my note? So I got to celebrate my middle daughter's birthday last night with her. Took her to dinner. Went and got her nails done. Went shopping. Yep, we went shoe shopping. And then we came back um, because the nails took too long. It was mine. It wasn't hers. It was mine. The nail technician just wasn't happy with something. And she just kept redoing it over and over and over again. I don't know. This, the grinding. I did dip. I usually love it. It doesn't usually take long. I don't know what happened. Anyway, she just wasn't happy and she just kept fixing it and didn't tell me anything that was going on. Uh, but by the time we got out of there, it was dark and I don't see well to drive. So I said to Leanne, I'm like, would you mind if I take you home and either dad or Colleen can drive me, drive us over to your house, to your apartment. And um, she's like, well, if they're driving me, then they can just take me. I was like, okay. So, yeah. Guess who was the one to take her? <laughs> yep. Yep. And we didn't tell you. So this is just kind of catching you up on life for us. Um, my husband had a cyst removed from his knee last Friday. And he is recovering, recuperating extremely well. Um, I have never seen anybody bounce back from surgery the way he has. Um, my mom said he must have been a lot more pain than he thought he was if this doesn't bother him because he's not on any pain meds mm. um, because he was feeling pressure like constantly and you know if we just brushed past his knee and the dog especially oh she would just like hit it. Steps on it yeah know? her whole weight would go down on it I'd bump it in bed like all kinds of stuff um, so yeah, no pain meds. He's already back at work. Um, his boss, when he showed up on Tuesday, he wasn't even post-op until Wednesday. He went for his follow-up. On Tuesday, he went in for a half day just because he was going stir-crazy. And the guy's like, what's wrong? And he went, oh, I just wanted to get caught up in emails. And he's like, okay. <laughs> so he is wearing sweatpants, you know, just so that his uh, work pants don't bother his incision or anything. But... Oh my gosh like anyway he's doing really really well <laughs> so that's good um i know i wouldn't have been and probably not 90 percent of people especially men right <laughs> i always say he doesn't do well with colds so i don't know physical things are different all right so we went to the ohio retreat yes the i always get this wrong western pennsylvania eastern ohio stitching retreat um, I didn't quite remember to bring everything down. Should we show that before or afterwards? Show what? Your stuff. Oh. Talk about the prizes. Well, we just mentioned Ohio, so. Okay, so let's do Ohio first, because that was really fun. Um, they played, they did a drawing. What do you call it? Raffle? Yeah. And they did the raffle different than any that I've ever done before. I mean, they've done it this way before, but I wasn't there. And you get free tickets and then you put your tickets into all of the bags. And um, somebody had bundled them up. So this was basically our freebie table. So things that people were giving away. Some things were new, but they were giving away. And you put your raffle tickets, you had 10, but there was like, what, 30 vials? Yeah. So you're 10 or 15, whatever you had, and you put them all in. I can't remember. But it was only one ticket per bag. One ticket per bag. You couldn't stuff them all in one. So I, there wasn't enough bags of, I mean, there wasn't enough sacks of things. So I didn't even use up all my tickets. Yep. But when they did the drawing, you could only take half, you could only win once. Oh, so if they poured your name again, you would either keep what you had gone first, or you'd trade, get that, and they would raffle it for someone else, and then you'd get the new thing. Right. However, if you were the only ticket in, you got to keep it. Mm -hmm. And that did happen. <laughs> that happened to her. So that was really cool. So she, you won the thing that you wanted the most. Yep. And I won the thing I wanted the most. So I'm going to show you what I wanted the most, and I only have part of it because... You know, it's somewhere. 
Um, <laughs> but it was a bee crime card and it's just so pretty and I loved it. And there was a bee pattern in there. Um, wasn't there? I think. Yeah, it was just, it was good. Let's just say that. And this was what I wanted more than anything. And I was tickled pink because I was just like, yay, I got it. And there was a lady behind me and said, you wanted that for the grime guard? Mm -hmm. I said, yeah. She goes, you use the grime guards? I went, yeah. She picked this up and tossed it at me. And I was like, ha ha, it's tulip pink. And she goes, what's that? Went, yeah, <laughs> it's the fabric and I like it. Yeah. And uh, um, I liked it, but it was bird patterns or something like that. And I don't do those. So she's like, well, I don't use grime guards. So this is yours. So yep. that was really, really cool. So my thing came in a 31 bag. Look at that. It's a cute little bag. And I love the colors of it. But what inside was not the entire project, but a grand guard. And you see the peacocks on it. Yep. Peacock grand guard. Yep. So I got that. That was, I think, the first that um, raffle they did. So I was really happy with that. And then there was a few things. So your name got pulled and then you had your B and you were like, I'm keeping it. So then what was inside of it? At least these two things. Oh, it was um, like a medieval, like him and her pattern. You said you liked it just because of it being like that. But again, she didn't want to take it because she already had the thing she wanted. So the next name they pulled was mine. And because I was the only other ticket in there, I got to keep it. Yep. So I don't even really know what it is. It's like a the heart's content to put on a little trinket box. Like a, um, oh yeah, the back picture was nice too. A thread box. Holy crap, this was $63 <laughs> at Covered Bridge. What if that's the one near us? Um, no, this says Wisconsin. Green Bay, Wisconsin. Who knows? But and wow. then a little pouch. A duff tin zipper bag. So that was in there too. And then someone from there think they, they won. Yeah, did they give me the stuff and I gave them yeah. Do that? Yeah, I was like, I like the Americana. So then they're like, oh, here's one that, uh, since I don't use them either. So these are made by Garon. Um, so I was like, I got two Graham Guards too. And then there was another one that I wanted and i passed on it because um it was, it was the coffee bundle but because i already had the b bundle i was like uh, i can't and the coffee one didn't have a ground guard so i just was like oh no i'm keeping mine <laughs> well my friend gail won it and i said <laughs> i kind of hollered oh. across to her and i went hey gail if there's anything in there you don't want I'll gladly take it off your hands. I didn't even think she heard me. Mm -hmm. Like, it was like, oh, okay, she didn't hear me. Maybe I'll <laughs> tell her that later. Wouldn't you know, when it was all it was said and done, she came over with a whole pile. And she goes, here, it's yours. <laughs> I went, what? I said, you have to do that. She goes, no, I just put my name in random ones. I didn't really want this stuff. <laughs> I was like, I did. Thank you. There was one pattern I already had by my big toe. And then the one. So I gave it to Carla. Oh yeah, so then there was one pattern, uh, Death by Chocolate or something. Oh yeah. It was a good one, something about the planet or world. I yeah. Don't remember what it said. That wasn't that from the freebie table? I don't know. Because we picked some stuff up off. So then like what you did. Yeah, after you did your raffle, like there was, there became a freebie table and then people could rummage through and pick what they wanted. Yeah, so what you didn't want to keep. So they didn't ever intend you to have to want everything in the stack. So that was really cool. So you took what you didn't want out of your stack over to the freebie table. So I got across my heart, uh, not a magazine, a booklet of some bunnies. And then <laughs> something on there. So I gave Carla that, that big toe. And then um, I went up and picked up something. And I think Allison's like, yeah, Carla just put that over on their freebie table. <laughs> I was like, but she didn't ask me first. But it was okay. It was fun, if you can't tell. Mm -hmm. We had lots and lots of fun. All right. So we'll talk about business stuff at the end. All right. Well, whips. Um, I do have a cover photo for it. 
um, since I already showed you the crime card on it. I have pulled this back out since she has an anchor throughout the month, right? So, since she has anchor, so I went through the colors and found ones because this is charted with DMC and anchor threads. So, I've had a lot of fun working on this. And because I cannot find the stickers to bobinate all of my anchors, they're on floss shops right now. And I can just, you know, part with these ones because they're plain, but they're, you know, floss drops. So they, they're doing their job right now. Yep. Um, oh yeah. And let's see, I'll give you a closer look on it. Sometimes I can't even tell which is like top and bottom on this, but here we go. So this is on Paris 36 even weave. And that is one of the needle minders that my aunt made. Mm -hmm. So I'm having a lot of fun on that. I got a lot of progress on that. So this is our mystery it came with a mystery by stitching Lee cross stitch patterns. Um, what is the name of it actually? Threads of Deceit. Threads of Deceit. So each week comes out a new clue to the mystery and a new um, row, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. uh, I am caught up. So I've been really, really happy with my progress on this. So what that has made me realize is when I do things in like these little bite sized chunks, I can get them done in a day or two. So I am going to start taking some of my, when this is done, I'm going to start taking some of my little things. I know I have the Bee Quaker that I'm going to do mm -hmm. from, oh, it's supposed to be my Table 5 style. Oh, she always tells me the name of it. Um, but anyway, that's going to be my first one. And then I have other little stitchy ones like that have like scissors and stitchy sayings. So that's going to be, I'll work through all my smalls by doing like one motif a week and kind of just keeping up with that. What is really cool for me, anyway, um, this is being done on Rooted by Grace Jobelin. That was our retreat exclusive color. And I'm using all of the floss tones from my sister's line. And I'm not normally a primary color stitcher, but I just really liked how they all look together. But... <laughs> I pulled out my little needle minder from my friend mm -hmm. and it like perfectly matches. And I thought, oh, how cool is that? Even though it's a dinosaur. <laughs> but I want to tell you my floss tones or my name of my flosses. So if you hold that up. I'll point to the color. So we have Passione, the pink. Right here on the heart and this flower. And Blueberry Buckle is the blue I'm using. Obviously the blue. And I'm going to say Elizabeth. Yep. It's the purple. The purple up here. Giacoso is the gold. And then minuet is the green. the green and um some of them do come out differently um a little different in color uh on the cotton floss than they do on right because um, our when fabric. fabrics there's the very i see a variation in the modeling mm -hmm. and the floss can take it differently because it's not like a variegated floss per se with like several colors to it so it's choosing between like the darks and the lights of that one color of the fabric. I may have found some things. <laughs> I had them in my bag for oh, us. Wow. No, I had two finishes. Oh. Yep. Lots of things that I forgot about. Is it mine? Hmm? Mine's quite good. <laughs> well, are you going to tell? This is my... Threads of Deceit. Threads of Deceit. Deceit. Obviously different colorways. I'm not caught up. <laughs> um, but I am keeping it in this Christmas bag because it fits. Mm -hmm. And I have it on a tag made by Sherry. And I'm doing this on 32 count Lagana Sparkling Grape. Grape Stones Fabrics. And for now, I'm keeping my threads into this bag. Do you want to point to the colors? Sure. <laughs> Three different, test my brain. Three different colors of blue. So we have, is it blue Danube? Blue Danube? Danube. That's like this muted blue. This one. Yep. Then we have Surrey. That's the brighter blue. We have Amanda. The pink. We have a surprise symphony, like uh, the mystery color. So that's my purple. And then the pale blue is another surprise symphony. So surprise symphonies are kind of like mystery fabric for Grace Notes. So surprise symphonies are not to be recreated. Right. 
or are not going to be recreated. Let's put it that way. So I guess I'll keep going with my whips before I show my other things. So I guess I had all my Ohio stuff together, actually. Um, this is my Deadly Aquarium by Lola Crow. I'm getting through it. <laughs> um, this fish gave me a lot of trouble. I didn't enjoy it very much at all. Uh, I took it out a lot. I, I just, mm, I might, mm, but it, it's looking beautiful. I do love how it looks. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I've been working through this this week. I got most of that. I got all these little tiny, I don't know if they're baby jellyfish. I don't know what they are because I haven't done my back stitching yet. Um, I don't know if I had the shark finished even when I was um, filming last. Check that out. Um, but I'm going to keep working through this at least through the middle. I want to get the middle done. And then after I do that, I am going to reward myself with another half a percent of making finery. And then, so I'm going to kind of tell you my plans as we go, I guess. Then my plan is once I get this finished, I get to put a whole percent into making finery. Because this is awfully big. So to jump, like I don't have, I, I need breaks. Let's put it that way. I can't just say I'm finishing this. It's annoying. <laughs> Are you going to show that one? Yeah, I don't know if I got more progress on this after Galleria. This is my butterfly cloche. I may have the work on it at the Ohio retreat. So you're probably just seeing the same exact thing again. But again, it's on a unknown fabric from us. 36 even weave. It looks like the look. Oh, I just looked at it. I don't know. But it's obviously like a smaller piece, so it's not like a flat quarter, so. A couple of them I cut in half. Gotcha. So it is a quarter of what I had. Yeah. So we still don't know the name. Yeah. It does look like a quilt. The more I look at it. All right. So I had a restart this week. Was it this week? Last week? I don't know. Mm, Since last week. Last last. Cutting 24 hours across it. Oh, yes, last week Brenda was 24 hours of cross stitch. <laughs> How many hours did you stitch? Not any. <laughs> Three. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I wanted to do something special for 24 hours of cross stitch. So I was working on the aquarium and I kind of, that's how I, I um, rewarded myself. I would do a thousand stitches on this and then finish a fish or something on the aquarium. That's how I got so much done. And this, I got 5,000 stitches done on this last weekend. I was pretty happy. So I kind of did a, like wound my way through, like going back and forth, cause I wanted to make sure I didn't have mistakes. I thought this is the best way to ensure that I'm not miscounting. So I should be pretty good. And then I'm not going to finish the rest of it for now. I'm going to save that for another 24 hours of cross stitch or mm -hmm. something. Um, something when I'm marathon stitching, even if it's just like a long stitching day or something. Um, even maybe like during the jingle more, maybe. But this fill-in I did when I was stitching in my bedroom. So this is now what stays up in my magic cart. That if I'm stitching in my bed, this is my stitching for that. And then also this is what I'm going to start taking to sit and stitch until somebody gives me a model that needs stitched. <laughs> Not naming names or anything. So this, um, uh, my, oh wait, I have the paper. My, my tag fell off. It's upstairs. It's from Avrova, A-V-R-O-V-A-C-S, cross stitch. So it's Avrova, capital C, capital S. And it's on Angel Blush Lugana, just a solid color from Swigert. Mm -hmm. Yep. 20 count Lugana. Okay. This one I worked at the Ohio Retreat. My One Nation by Bogon Stitches. This was started at StitchCon. 
Many like 22, <laughs> possibly. So it's charted. Uh, 21. That was our first one. I didn't see. We didn't have that right there. Uh, let's see. There's a page that has. It's called for covers. Cupid is their crescent colors, uh, which is cause the color works. Cupid, blacksmith blue, and antique lace. I am using the Cupid. And antique lace. And vanilla custard. Uh -huh. And Granny Annie. I want to see the word antique. So, a little bit more, I think a brighter blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then more cream, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I went with. But it looks really, huh? Wait, but it'll look good too. And I'm stitching this one Cappuccino. snickerdoodle. Oh. Snickerdoodle that we made. And I snickerdoodle just did is cappuccino. That's true. Just worked a little there. And I <laughs> took off plenty of mine. Plenty of my needle minders. Um, it's a slow stitch because it is linen. I don't like stitching on linen. <laughs> grumble, grumble, grumble. Yep. All right, do you have any other whips? Yes. Okay, I'm going to let you keep going because I'm out of whips. I have more whips than you. Well, but I stitched last. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, no, I have one more. I'm making binary. I worked on this since you all seen me last. So I filled in more of her hair over here and I worked more over here. I think I'm going to keep going down here before I keep going across if I remember my pattern correctly. This is the cover photo and I am so excited. My friend who uh, I'm stitching this with, she is actually all the way over to the corner. She, oh, sorry, I'm like wobbling here. She made her way all the way over here and then just started filling in the corner. So mm -hmm. I get to see what all that looks like. Um, she's got a lot of this done too, but when she got too excited when she got here, so she just kind of counted her way over um, and did her stitching. So she doesn't have very many rows there. I should learn how um, to get uh, my my full coverage pictures printed out like that. Yeah. So that you can look at it and then when you show it, you already yeah. have the cover photo. And when you're stitching on it, it gives you a little bit more motivation to work on it because full coverage really isn't you're not seeing what it. takes my attention. Yeah. And you're not seeing it. So this is her whip, but I'm currently working on it. It's the main street. This is the stitch along the Grace Notes retreat. So I am currently working on the church. Uh. <laughs> Grits. Yep, it is just plain. A little bit of cream in there, but I s we went and tried our new stands. We have stands. They're really stands. They're clamped. They go onto the table, but they can hold full coverage. And someone at the Ohio retreat had one. Three of us ordered them there that I know of, and took up all the ones from Amazon because there's not much. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe they restock them. Um. So, I took this, because this one's gold rods. Yes, this was, what, two Saturdays ago? Yes. We went to the library. I've not been working on this consistently, so that's why it's not done. Uh, my aunt got it done in, like, a few days. <laughs> yeah, five, six days. Um, Before it goes back to me. Yeah, so. But I didn't have enough black, because she has a little tin with all her colors and little extra stuff. So, I had to start on the grits. Yeah. And what my sister has found is you're probably going to need two skeins of everything. And there was no notations made of that on the pattern. So right. when we kitted it up for everybody, we only kitted up one of each color. So sorry. If about you, that. Yeah, I'm very, very sorry about that. So if you have an LNS, grab yourself another of each. This is Stitch to One Pistachio Frappe 32 Count Toe Blind. Mm -hmm. okay. Yep. And I do have another whip. This I also worked on at the retreat. Uh, come for it first. Uh, it is called Love is Books. And it really says, pretty. Love is love is when you look into someone's eyes and see everything that you need. I really like it. something you had stitched from? I got it off the freebie cable. Yeah. It's from Hobby Lobby. And since then, they've discontinued carrying it. Um, but I remember either when I started working there or right before that I'd seen it and I was interested in getting it. And then we got the stitch con and I found it on the freebie table and I'm like, 
well it's meant to be <laughs> mm -hmm. so and then we just took the ada out of it and dyed it yeah so i would not have loved to work on 14 but it's a piece of fabric that's what we have um but it's a little slow going and it's gonna be quite fun getting into those flowers mm -hmm. but it, it's coming along <laughs> Slowly but surely. Right. So I had two finishes while we were in Ohio. Oh yeah. Yeah. Number one would be my Eiffel Quaker. What are you getting? Mine. Oh. Side by side. So there is my finish. I stayed up to finish that because I was like, I am not going to bed until this is done. Mm-hmm. And then I showed pictures to yeah. ladies of mine. Hold on, I'll okay. take it out. And they were just like, oh, so Oh, cool. so now I can iron it and you can place it. And there's it. You have it. You have my thing, right? What thing? Your board? Yeah. I don't know. I think you do. Oh my goodness. Mine did the same as yours. Uh, but I was making fun of hers because I had to fix her surgeon. Well, this will get cut off anyway, so it doesn't matter. Ta-da! She doesn't keep all the surgeons. There we go. You can see them. So very, very pleased with how these turned out. Yep. And we actually have our Mother's Day projects picked out for next year. So oh, I made it in time. Yep. I don't think we showed them. Yeah, we did. After. Oh, okay. Yeah, we did. That's right. Uh, oh my goodness. Is it both sides? Well, I don't know. Mine was less than that. Um, but those are quite a step up than using... <laughs> just over dyed silks like it's enjoyable to work with the silks and these have silks in them too right this has silks yeah no the other one uh-huh they dyes. have bees beads not yeah. bees um they're glend in place yeah. they're very detailed i've never done a glend in place you have something started but yeah Which definitely so it's on yucky fabric so we're gonna race and see for you there's time oh we'll work on it together yeah Together. When when the, someone's gonna finish first. <laughs> well, that is true. I'll I'll try to make it that I finish first. But <laughs> who is more than me giving up on a project? Uh oh. I, I already took this off the Q snaps. I don't know why, but this was on Poison Apple. It is called As You Wish. I don't know why. <sighs> Olivia and Lee. I think it's Olivia plus Lee, um, on the website. But it was oh, a stitch along. It was a stitch along. It is finished. I absolutely loved it. This was such a fun stitch. Um, next year, I am going to. Don't quote me on this, <laughs> but I am not going to do very many. I'm going to try not to do any mystery stitch alongs. Gotcha. I. I've been burned a few times. Um, I've started some and not enjoyed them. And thankfully, like one, like the new Frosted Pumpkin, it's not really my cup of tea, the real the real animals. I don't know if I might like to do that one if I don't label it with all the names. I don't know. Oh, the, the Arctic? The one? Yeah. Oh, no, look, it's cute. Well, good. Look, I bought it for her. Oh, I didn't know you had it. <laughs> and, did, and Jamie has it. I don't know if my sister has it or not. She hasn't started it if she did. I think she looks at everyone's progress on it. So, um, yeah, if you buy it in the beginning, it's cheaper. But if you don't like it, why well, it does not matter if you bought it or not? So, I think I'd rather wait and spend three more dollars than not yeah. spending them at all. So, let's go back to the Ohio haul. And we even have some other haul. Wait do you see my haul? I got lots. But you have haul from Galleria. Oh. That we didn't show. So I had all of these. That's why your bag was so heavy. That's why my bag was so heavy. It's for you. Okay. Is this from... That was Galleria. Yep. What in the world is that? Huh. That just came in our gallery of thing. Oh, this is the, is this the one you won that you're telling me about? Yep. 
Okay, here's one she was talking about. My lord and my lady. Will I ever stitch these? No, because I don't have time. But I like them. Mm -hmm. And I really wanted them. And I can say I own them. <laughs> and so there was another My Big Toe in there. Yes. I think this was with the coffee. It was Death by Chocolate. What a way to go. So Carly oh, yeah, said, I need it. that one. I'm like, well, well, I'm done. You can have it. So I should put a note on there. This, did we just get off the freebie table? Or where did this one come from? I think it's from one of the raffles. Was this also in the coffee raffle? Yeah. Um, it's coffee color, so that's my guess. Um, Abigail Colby's work basket. It's beautiful. Very, very pretty. And then, oh my. Oh, that's... Yes, I'm bleeding. Would you put yourself on? I didn't. It was it was well it was the fault file folder. Alright. I don't know why these floss drops are in there. Oh well, I picked this off at the Phoebe table because I know I'll use it. Uh that was part of one of my what is that called? One of the things that happened during the my nails is she kind of cut me along here and I kept bleeding and she fixed it oh, and then the bleeding would open up again. So this is what I got off the freebie table um, was this Little Women and it's one that was on my wish list from Stitching Book Club. And then I got Vermillion. It's Gareth and Lynette. I don't know. I just liked it. And then this is from Galleria. Galleria. Um, Blizzard. I love these kitty and these, even though my, ooh, that could be my one strand a day. <gasps> That's my one strand a day. Hey, Dana, I figured it out. I wanted to do something that I would enjoy doing, but that I could see progress on. So I wanted, that's part of my plans is I want to do one strand a day. I'm not going to bore you with all of these, but I got a bunch of my cross stitcher magazines and none of the more ones I already had. So anybody who's getting rid of the cross stitcher old magazines, I'd like to be your first choice. <laughs> um, and then Guinevere. I just I love these. I love anything like this. Medieval. This is from the Ohio Treat. I didn't bring mine down. But someone handed out scissors and hers are different from mine. So she got a pair of stork scissors. And this cute little sewing notions. You picked a fun. Oh, scissors. you picked two or three, right? Yeah, like one purple flowers. And then since you like sewing notions. But then you can secure your scissors in there. And then, you know, put over the button. Mine was like a pale pink and blue pair of scissors. And like catchwork, like blue. Yeah. Blue case. So she pulled out. Like the lady was going around with a basket. Mm -hmm. But Colleen just picked for me. She picked two or three out. I was like, which one of these? So she knew. That way I wouldn't have to dig through. All right. This, I believe, is a thing to go for your glasses that you can take them down if they're like readers or something you don't wear constantly. Um, like, so it's yeah. a little lobster claws and there's that and it's all beads there. And That's all beads? Yeah. That's oh really nice. Oh my gosh. Only just for people. That was in um, our Galleria book mm -hmm. uh, um, for, what do we call it? Vendors. Mm -hmm. Right. And these were... From, your freebie from galleria uh freebies this is leisure arts for state flowers uh they're called leaflets yeah so i have a thing for flowers even though i'm allergic to them so i got a bunch leaflet is a small book ah something like a pamphlet <laughs> yes uh here i got some silver lining that i'm very happy with amber panties <laughs> I don't pansies. know what it looks like, but I'm collecting Oh, no, pens. pansies. Did I say pin? Pansies. Yeah. <laughs> Sam for pansies. Um, yeah, I just, I'm collecting all of them, so whatever it looks like, whether I do eventually get to it, this one I feel like is Broadway. It's beautiful. And this one's on our DMC. But yes, they have since then retired, so you have to get their patterns either on Etsy or somewhere else, or freebie. Or you just find them, because people are Don't discarding them. them. Yep. Where Those are it? DMCs too. Peekaboo. This one called Peekaboo. This one has six pages. Of course, I chose a difficult one to start with. 
All right, and then this is our haul. I even have yours. This, I said that. I'm this is yours. It. You just took mine. Dun, dun. Such a brat sometimes. Yes, because I think this would look good being a 36 that it would be good for a flower. Yeah, and me, I'm like, no, I don't want that in 36. Eventually. So like. we'll show you the color first. If you haven't received your fabric of the month, please look away or Look skip. away or... Um, or you won't be surprised. Um, so our color was called It's Electrifying. Uh, inspiration from the song In Greece. <laughs> You're the one that I want. Ooh, look how big one is. <laughs> yep. Mine's 36 evenly. And mine is 32 Jovelin. And then, um, so I, you know, for this bigger count, smaller number, 32 in color, so that I can use it for a mirabilia or whatever I want. And then my small things I do in neutral, where she goes the opposite. I don't know. I just like it. So this is my brown sugar boba. So I want to guess who named which fabric because <laughs> she is a huge fan of Greece and you uh, were you. Like you watched it when it came out and stuff? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> it came out the year I was born. Okay, child. okay. So you were born when it came out, but she's still a fan of it. And we, I was trying to stay to, you know, we try to have the neutral names. Uh, beverages. Like beverages. So, brown sugar. So you can about. see what Jobelin versus Ligana. Blue Linen and Jobelin were a lot more similar. Um, we had, but the pieces were definitely different. Oh, yes. And we received compliments of this fabric. And I said it's well deserved because of how hard we, or she worked on the brown. Uh, every time I would try to come out with, I think a brown. <laughs> every purple. piece turned out like pink, red. I was or purple. Eyes. No, like they had a purple. They look terrible. So <laughs> I, uh, the samples. That's... She was on Here we go. Google. Oh no, I gave them to somebody. Oh, we have somebody in oh, our no. fat. That's in... funny. Yeah. Okay. There's somebody in our fabric of the month who gets 10 ornament cuts every month added in. This looks like just about all, my, like some of these are two. Like I put two of the samples. I tried that many times to get like a brown and obviously that was my closest to a red, but it's a pink obviously. Um, yeah, they are But just, I gave her like 10 of our tries. Yeah. So Rachel, <laughs> if you watch this, yeah. um, those are not our colors. That yep. was us getting there. That's. But I thought you might like them. They're unique. Sometimes we have colors that we throw in. That's probably like Blackberry Latte or Symphony. But by the time but we mixed just tries. in is, you know, we just tried and guess what? It's a piece of fabric and it's dyed so. Yep. So she just gets random cuts, ornament cuts every month. So um, I mix because she requested that. I mm -hmm. mix between Ada Linen and Lugana. And I try to keep them like the newer colors so that she's not getting stuff i know that she's had before yeah um yeah. so that's cute you knew what color like would you want to name this this okay it, it more shows up like the brown on the even weaves the linen and ada they have different tones it's got in a it. lot of white well, i i wanted to have some like marshmallow name to it yeah um but then when this is sitting in the dye it's such a dark brown it's almost like it looks the color of like tapioca pearls and some like the variegation of like the light into the dark i was like it looks like a brown sugar like but like you mix it in so it works yep yeah because you said something about electric yeah that's like, where i came up with the name or stoplight green or something not stoplight uh electric green something like that yeah, and yeah. You, you thought that was boring when i said that but um yeah it was 25 different samples to get to this <laughs> that was the hardest one we've ever done um so i'm not sure what happened there all right all right so for the winner we of our proper stitcher lucky you um we did a random number generator and the winner of that is patricia zinc um, I do know who you are. I'm going to screenshot this and we will get the pattern out to you. And then I think you have an order pending. So I'll probably just add it to that. Um, then we have a new. Yes. So, um, 
sorry, fairy wool in the wood. We have started carrying their pattern, her patterns, and I wanted to feature somebody's patterns on this floss tube, but uh, we had so much to do. But it's a Merry Christmas stocking. Um, so mention something about Christmas yep. in your comment, and um, then we will again do a number random number generator and uh, announce the winner on our next and floss tube. Charm. And it does come with a little charm. It's a brand new chart. Um, I got it with our shipment. And then we have, uh, so I'm going to jump into a few of our business things just in case um, you're not, oh wait, should I do my plans first? Sure. Okay. So what do you have as plans? Nothing. <laughs> so I'm going to do my one strand today, which is going to be my Mozart cat. Okay. So I need to pull that out because um, some days that's all I get to do. And I get, I kind of force myself to get to 100 stitches. So that's more than one strand. And my husband's ready to go to bed and he gets a little frustrated with me. Um, but I take my pictures every 100 stitches. So I, that's why I pick that number. However, if I'm doing something like Mozart Cat I, and I'm doing one strand a day, I can still count my numbers and just still take a picture every hundred, just finish my one strand to be done. Um, so that is what I'm going to pick for that because they, the colorful cats do have a lot of color to them. Um, it's a lot more, um, variation than you would think that there is in those. Um, and then I have, um, my one a week, which I'm doing, and then I'm, swapping off and on between making finery and the aquarium once i finish the aquarium it'll be making finery and something else so i'm not going to be working on anything else until either um our stitch along is done mm. our mystery stitch along or aquarium is done because i'm going to behave myself but next year my friends are doing a sow with long dog most of them are doing love at first sight and they were trying to talk me into it. And I said, I am not starting another long dog sampler until my current one is done. That's it. End of story. I just can't. I can't, I can't, I can't. So, um, I am working on Do Different. So I printed off the cover. Um, my friend Carla from Craft Attic K, she color coded hers. Um, so it's going to be a two year sow. And she color coded like, for the first quarter, first three months, this is what she's going to work on. And then the next three and the next third. So <clears throat> I may have ordered some highlighters and they'll be here tomorrow or Monday. I don't remember. But anyway, um, I'm going to highlight in purple what I've already done because mm -hmm. that's what color mine is. And then I will try to break up the rest of it because I think in two years I should be able to finish this. So that is my plans. So I'm going to join them in the stitch along. But using one you've already started. Using the one I've already started. Um, if I happen to finish it sooner, then yay. Does that mean I get to start another one? I don't know. I have so many projects. And then, okay, that's it. So we'll give you our Christmas retreat update. Um, we are full. We are on a wait list. I think we have like five more people to pay. Um, and I have to chase them down if they haven't paid in the next six days um because then we'll go to the next person on the wait list um our nutcracker box we build i think i only have five more people to build on that so i started building out today i know i said i wouldn't do it till november 1st but i was um putting in everybody's fabric choices because it's very time consuming so that's the other thing i spent the whole day doing um hours literally hours have been spent on this um, building of the Nutcracker box mm -hmm. and I have to individually um, send out every invoice. Well, what I didn't realize is as I was doing these invoices, I mean, I should have realized, you can't go check, 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 and then hit send. You have to go into every single one and hit send. So I went ahead and sent them. Uh, some people have paid them. Some are like, uh, I can't pay for November 1st. I don't care. <laughs> you, that's when I said I'd bill them. It's fine. Um, it was just more of, I just needed to get it done so that it was done because mm -hmm. um, it's taking me a lot of time to do it um, more time than I thought it would and it's been very fun so with our next box we already have a theme in mind um, 
the people who ordered Nutcracker get first choice if they are going to get the next box or not. They are not subscribed to it. They will not automatically be billed for it. Um, and then we will open it up. And I'm actually going to open up as orders on our website. And then um, people can pick right from there instead of me um, invoicing. invoicing for every single one. All right. And then I already so I already talked about what we're doing next week, which so most of our plans are done. Mm -hmm. uh, then we do still have our breast cancer awareness fabric available, and we have okay, yeah, six more days okay. that you can order them. Um, and we'll still be shipping them in November because, of course, we're they're on our die list and we're trying to get them all done. Um, but yeah, we have fl uh, floss tones from my sister, so those are on the way here to be shipped out with people's fabrics. Um, and I think, oh, yes. as far as go ahead, since we're talking about breast cancer, yes, since we're talking about breast cancer, we were at Shoots grabbing dinner and they had a whole little stand up of random things, a lot of them are cool, and they were a few seeds were going to help with the breast cancer re uh, research. and Oh, we found these pens. They're styluses and they're light, light up. up. They light up. It's so. Supposed to glow and, and glitter. But we haven't opened them up and tried them out yes. yet. But very pretty. Yeah. So we were excited about that. Um, more retreat. So I did talk to my contact about the hotel rooms. She will send confirmations out, and um, there will be a new room block opening up um, once these kings are filled up, and then. Um, but again, if you want those uh, Wednesdays, just keep messaging me about those. Um, everything else, any other questions you have about the retreat, ask if, now this is of course people who are already signed up for the retreat, um, ask in the Facebook group. We have this, is it a huge thing that says FAQ, right? Or does it say popular retreat questions here? Yeah. Because other people might have the same questions. And if you message me privately, they don't see your they don't see my answer. Right. So if I answer you, then I have to answer them. So if you ask the question there, then you don't have to wait for me to answer. Sometimes somebody else already knows the answer. So I, I already saw people like um, answering people who came last year were answering people from this year. Right. So that's kind of the idea of having that popular you know, questions is so that everybody can answer There's, and everybody can read them. You don't have to search for it but there is plenty of info about the retreat and yeah things that you might be concerned about or wondering about and so you will get a new confirmation with wednesday night but um she just asked us to give her time and i told somebody i'm like the retreat's 10 months of the way so we got plenty of time to get this all squared away um but she has her regular duties we are 10 months out on her calendar she right. has other or events are current, that are current. Upcoming. Program. So, I mean, I don't want to say we're not the priority, but at the same time, if she has a group coming in next week and they need adjustments, they need to come first. Right. I mean, we would feel the same way uh, about our event. So as she can, she's got my list. And then she's just checking them off as she goes and she's sending out the new confirmation. So I've already sent her like 30 people's names. So she's doing it. And that's all I can say is we're, we're working on it. We're working through it. It will be done. Um, nobody's being left out that I can guarantee a hundred percent. These rooms are not getting booked. You're good. You'll have them. So mm -hmm. it's really hard to trust that. I understand, but please have faith in me. <laughs> um, it's going to be done. Go get those rooms. Um, and I'm very, very excited. The, this hotel is fantastic. They work with us wonderfully. Oh. So um, I don't think there's anything else that's really important about the retreat at the moment. Um, somebody had asked about when do I send out information about the stitch along. I'm like, when I know it. Because <laughs> both of these I picked from needle, uh, oh, like Nashville. Nashville releases. Nashville. So um, I'm so, hoping there's something new and fresh that we can pick for next year. Yeah, maybe five months. <laughs> maybe <laughs> five months until we know it. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, but lots and lots of exciting things. And uh, just kind of cool for our business is um, Lindy Stitches put out a little notice of um, who's a hand dyer, who sells hand dyed fabrics that you would like me to carry 
and um, a few people put our name and she reached out and she placed an 88 yard order. <laughs> oh, it is 88 yards? Oh my God. <laughs> it's 88 yards. So uh, we're working on that. <laughs> so I, we're dying one of those colors this week. Then the others are later on the list. Um, but we're going to get through them and we're very excited to be partnering with her. So thank you for all of you who have um, named us. Thank you for watching. Um, and we'll see you next time. Happy, Happy stitching. stitching.